Hey guys, this is Rich. I wanted to show you about some solar vacuum tubes. These are the type they use in the uh, commercial uh, hot water tank situations. But they're supposed to really be super efficient because they um, they have a, a vacuum that surrounds this inner ring. That inner ring, you see it, it's a, a black material. It absorbs the heat and um, it's transferred to the inside of here, which is really cool looking, just looking down in it. And, um, and the heat stays inside the pipe. It doesn't escape because the vacuum mm -hmm. is such a, a good insulator. It's just sort of just like a, a thermos, a giant thermos that you see. And what happens, uh, you can actually put water in this and it'll heat the water up. We're, we're going to do a test and, and see how that goes. But the way most of them are working, what I've seen, is they're using a heat, what's called a heat pipe. And it's just a, a sealed pipe. I made one right here. And at the bottom here, I have a little bit of acetone in there. And if it's down into the pipe, Put a little cap on it, and what supposedly it heats up, turns the liquid into vapor, and the vapor comes up into this, fills up this chamber, which dissipates the heat out. So what you do is um, you have to make it, uh, an exchange or something, to where you you take your water pipes and you know run them where this is making contact, so this can dissipate the heat to the thing. Yeah, I'm going to build one. We'll we'll see, but first. Uh, I'm gonna test them. I've, you know, got a few of these to test with different uh, different ways. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I made a little bracket to, for testing, and I have this first one here. It's at 62, and it's it's filled with like two cups of water. And then this next one, it's uh, I have my heat pipe that I made. It's at 47. I just brought them out here, and I just got a third one out here just with the uh, oven thermometer in it. So we'll let it set and see what it does. The sun's just now starting to get up a little bit, but once it gets over in here, it should start giving me some heat. It's been about a couple hours, but it's turned partly cloudy, so it's off and on sun. Let's see what they're doing here. Okay. Oh, wow. The water is at 110 degrees. In my heat probe, I have the since they're right there on this pipe here. It's at 115. It is a little hot. Let's see what just this one is. Wow, it's hot. Oh man, that's at two right over two forty something. Okay, it's about ten to two here in the afternoon. The sun is finally starting to come back out through the clouds again. Now you can see my heat pipe, it's at 150. Whew, that's pretty hot. And that water is at 132 degrees. Wow, that is cool. And, uh, let's see this one. And the cool thing is, these things are still cool to touch. I can touch this, even though I know it's over 200 degrees. Let's see what happens here. Oops. It's 200. Almost 285 degrees. I don't think it'll focus on there. But that is really hot. Okay, it's about um, 10 to 4, a couple hours since last time I checked it. And the heat pipe is at 153. The water is over 160 degrees, because that's when it says high, that's what that means. And now the regular just air thermometer, let's see what this one does. It's over 300 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, we lost the sun. And let's see what we're doing here. The one with just the air in it, it's at 143 still with no sun. The heat rod, what's that? 98.8 in the water. Let's see how hot that is. It's hard to do this with one hand. Oh, oh, oh. It's at 170. Jeez. Ow, ow. OK, 
okay, I brought all my tubes in. This one is the one with the uh, with the water in it. And I still left that in there, and I it's 10, 10 p.m. at night, and the water is still 130 degrees from this afternoon. So it's really holding the heat in that water. How cool is that? Actually, I'm going to check it in the morning, too. We'll see it. How much heat it keeps all night. Okay, it's uh, 8 o'clock next morning. And the temp is showing 91.4. Well, that's about it. I've uh, I've started building a, uh, a holder where I'm going to have at least five of these. And I'll make a little stand and I'll build a uh, heat exchanger. So I guess I'll have to break down and get some copper. So I want to really see how these things work. Anyways, I'll keep you posted with the next video, hopefully.